Yo, what is up? This is BiceHD here, back for another video. Today in this video, we're going to be continuing my series on recreating every single track from the 2020 season, despite the fact that it's basically over. They actually announced that all the races are canceled except for the Vegas and Utah race, which if they still do those, hopefully they do. They're probably going to do double headers just so they can get enough points to where it'll be comfortable with Eli Tomac winning the championship. For 250 guys, I don't know exactly how they're going to do that, so... They're still just playing it by ear, so there's nothing that's confirmed yet. But something that is confirmed, which I just heard about recently today, was that Hangtown, which is the first round for motocross, has been canceled. So that's really far out. That's actually going to be in May. So it makes me a little bit nervous because I'm supposed to be graduating in May. So hopefully my graduation's going to still happen. Kind of crazy times right now, but I'm actually going to be doing something. Sorry, this is only for Xbox. But if you guys are on Xbox, let me know in the comments below because I'm actually trying to look for people to race on these replica tracks that I'm creating. So hopefully we can do races like on Saturdays or something something like that so that's why I'm doing this video on a Thursday so hopefully it's up tomorrow which will be Friday and then we could race it Saturday which would be awesome if we can get enough people to do that but once again it's only on Xbox so if you're on Xbox and you're interested let me know in the comments below I actually have something on my Xbox live account posted so if you guys want to go check that out there'll be more details in the description below with that being said let's go ahead and try and create this track which is going to be Detroit All right, so we finally finished the track. I've actually been working on this for like the past two hours, so I kept struggling with it, and I'm still not happy with how it turned out. It could be a lot better, but this track is just weird, and plus not being able to actually see what it looks like is just really throwing me off. So there's one section where the straight kind of curves a little bit, so that part, it's completely jacked up. The jumps are really small because I can't really have it that long because I didn't realize how long that section actually was. So that section is kind of a little messed up, but the biggest part that had me struggling when I was making it was the straight. Every time I had a curve, to go back onto the straight it kept like doing these weird like little triangular slices where it's just missed so like I'll show you like what it looked like but I've been having that problem so finally I decided to kept going over and over and over again until finally it was gone so there's none of that in the track now so we can finally put some laps on there so I decided to change my end game number to 18 because obviously I told you guys how I used to be 11 but that's not available because of Kyle Chisholm and then I was going to do 28 because I used to be 28 when I raced BMX as well. But that one was also picked. So I just went with 18 because it's kind of in between, I guess. All right. So right over here, also making this curve was a struggle. But right here, we have like a little option thing. But this part is really not how it's supposed to be. So I've got it set up to where you can hit it multiple different ways. And right here, this is a triple triple, but you barely have to give it any gas to make those jumps so it's a triple triple double and then here obviously we have the finish line jump which is all good and this turned out good crossing back over and right here we have like a little speed check wall jump and then we got a little double and then we have just one big triple it's the only big triple on this track and then it goes to this whoop section right here and then like I mentioned earlier right here is where it was throwing me off because sometimes right here there'll be like little things that are like poking out like almost like little slices of pizza missing I guess you could call it so I had to keep messing with that until finally it's all smoothed out now and then right here this is supposed to be a lot longer and this is supposed to be like half sand half dirt but couldn't really do that so I just made it a full sand berm and then right here it's supposed to be a split jump like this but since all we have is the split whoops I just did one split whoop to the left and then I just did a jump right here so you can actually jump over the start and then you hit this 180 and you get a little lip and you go back onto the track. So let's try and hit it this way. So I can kind of like triple that, double that, and then land on top of this. So that actually was probably faster that way I just hit it, but I don't know if I can consistently hit it each time like that. Now this once again, you just like barely give it any gas so this is more of like a 250 track I did notice that you're able to make the nickname font on the back of your jersey bigger so that's pretty cool but numbers still you can't do much bigger so I wish you could do it a little bit bigger I'm glad they got the font size fixed but now we just need a numbering sizing like I said at the beginning of this video I'm recruiting people to kind of do a race probably on Saturdays where we race on these replica tracks and if somebody else has a better replica like this one I'm embarrassed to call this mine 
Oz, I get kicked off the track. But if anybody has a better one, then definitely I would use that instead. But the whole idea is that we're just gonna try and just, you know, race and have fun in this game. Cause I know Wyndham 151's doing the same thing, but he's doing it on PlayStation. So I figured I could do it on Xbox, but I'm just, you know, need, I think it's like 12 people to do it. So if you guys wanna go join me on Saturdays doing these races, let me know in the comments below. Also make sure you add me on Xbox because I actually have something sent out. I don't know exactly what it's called, but basically it's like a little thing where you guys can go on there and join and then I'll be accepting you that way. And if we do get to the point where there's more people than we can actually use, then we'll do like little cuts and stuff. But I don't think that's gonna be a problem because right now I only have like three people that have signed up for it. If we do happen to get a bunch of people, which once again, I doubt, then we could do it in different classes. Like we could do a 250 and a 450 class, just like the real thing. So looking forward to doing that. Hopefully we get enough people doing that. So if you're interested, please don't hesitate to let me know because I will happily let you do this. And of course, it'll all be on video. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna live stream it or just record it and edit it or do both. So still haven't come up with that idea yet, but this is still just an idea that I hope to be able to do. So with that being said, let's get to the part where we just try and put in a hot lap. All right, so hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And once again, please, if you're on Xbox, let me know. Obviously, if you have this game too. But I would definitely love to have you do my little things on Saturdays. I'm just gonna say Saturday. It's still, we can work around with that. We still gotta figure out the time and stuff, but still, we gotta develop a team of people. Let me know in the comments below and make sure you add me on Xbox so you can go ahead and join into my little thing. Don't know exactly what it's called, but yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, bye.